following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sid Koa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. Oftentimes with teams, you know one member is better than the other. These are two superstars who are equally high level. The WWE Universe just exploded! And the opponents, first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 240 pounds, Adam Cole Lane! Now this is a superstar who can breathe new life into this crowd. They were already alive, Cole. I don't know how this superstar is going to do anything to change that into being more alive. Yeah, Corey, but the fearless and daring behavior we see from this superstar brings the WWE Universe to an entirely new level. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. This is seen as WrestleMania 30 gear. Whoa, a flashback to his toughest internal conflict ever. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Flashing back to WrestleMania 30, this has to stir up memories for Cena. Yeah, you're right, Corey. Memories of a difficult match and a time of internal conflict for the franchise. This is an effort to confuse Cena, to force him to second-guess himself. Well, we all make choices in life and in the ring. Maybe Cena's wondering now, did he betray the will of the people at WrestleMania 30? This has to be so jarring. And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. Left by the turnbuckles. Tag! Sent out to the center of the ring. Oh! Double super kick! Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. the spot. Oh, vicious headbutt. Vice-like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. This team working like a well-oiled machine. Oh my goodness, double gut buster. That might have broken some ribs. Now he's been put on the defensive. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Tag made, tag made. 
fought off with an elbow. Nice hip toss. Nice counter by Cena. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Snake eyes. His shoulders are down. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. He got whipped into that corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Cena kick to the gut. Sunset flip powerbomb. A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Elbow drop. Piercing. So many WWE careers started on SmackDown. Eddie, Cena, Ray, AJ Styles, the list goes on. Sends him over the top of the clothesline, and what's he planning to do now? Measuring his man. This could be it. Cover. Just after two. Not yet. Oh, he knew what was coming. Not the position you want to be in right now. Throw it away. God. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Here's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Looking wobbly in the corner. Power slam! The communication between these two is evident by that move. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's absorbed some damage already. Gets tagged in. Nice hip toss. Oh, stiff punch. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. And able to counter. Oh! Oh! And he tosses him back in now. What a punch. the button. Caught with a punch. Solo picture. And oh, what a lariat. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, there's a kick right in the face. Double the punishment. And Cena with the wherewithal to counter. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Slips out of the way and lands the backbreaker. Ooh. Jimmy Uso doing work in the corner Ooh. and backing it up. Into the corner, what a hip attack. He could pin his opponent right here. 
the shoulder up. How in the world did he kick out? Uh-oh. He deflects it right back. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Wow! He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag score. John Cena looking to end this. Right into the canvas for the attitude adjustment. Is that all Cena needs? Cody stops the count for his partner. Fresh man in. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Set him up with a Russian leg sweep. Here's the cover for the win. Oh, just a two count that time. That sucked all the air out of this place. It looked like a done deal. Good defense. Gonna carry it around. Bad spot to be in. Huge toss. Oh, that might have just broken something. runs in the mind. How am I going to be able to end this? Oh, vicious headbutt. That didn't look good for Cena at all. And now the aftermath is painted on his face. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. He foiled that attempt. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Into the corner now. Caught him right in the jump. Tag made here. Oh, no, no, no. Powerball. Jimmy with a game ender. Shoulders down. Maybe not. the street champ looking a little less tough. And that's just scratching the surface of what Cena's capable of. Oh, what a clothesline! I able to counter. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Oh, look at the power now. I can't believe this. Look at that. Oh, my God. Off the apron to the floor hard. Oh, good night. Sorry. Boom. Toss back into the ring. Solo Sokoa standing ten toes down, ready to fight. Ooh, Jimmy manages to counter. This crowd is thunderous right now. Who can blame them? Face first with a waistlock takedown. 
Whoa. Stiff headbutt. He's on his. Does he get him here? He breaks the ref's count before two. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. There he goes, right into the corner. Brutal short arm lariat. Jimmy Uso tags in. to three. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Drops the elbow. And there's Jimmy on the attack deep in this match. Yeah, Jimmy knows you have to keep up the intensity in a brutal match like this. And set right into the corner. Caught him right in the jump. Tag made here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, double impact. Will Jimmy seal this up? Makes the cover. And he stops the count for his partner. Sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Gets the tag. Shot with oh, ruthless striking. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, double shoulder block. Elbow drop. Piercing. Using the elbow as a weapon. Uh oh. directly to the gut. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Ooh, that hurt. Jimmy is now starting to bleed. Reaches his partner for the tag. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Planning on what to do next. Sakoa is focused on finishing this. Uh oh. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Big, big back body drop! What elevation!
Just cranking the head. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, impressive counter. And huge burning Larry. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. Wow. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Cena warning him off. Cena. Look at this power. Onto his shoulders. Attitude adjustment. That's going to keep Sokoa down. Two. Kick out finished off for sure. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. And Cena's shocked, but we know that kick out has only made him more determined. Sokoa prevents that from connecting. There's a headbutt. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Able to get there in time. Hoisted up. Whipped over in a snap suplex. it back just in time. Ooh, that was really close. Powerless position to be in right now. Right across the larynx. He thinks he has it. Kicks out. He still has life. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. And the knee. Ooh. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. From the top, from the top rope for the victory here. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Getting him into the corner. There's a tag. Tag. Uh-oh, sets him up. Oh. I think that finally closes the book. Cover! He keeps his team in the match. Wicked kick to the lower back. This could be big. Going up high. From the top. Moved out of the way. Nobody home. Dangerous.
dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. There's the switch. John Cena's in. underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Well, was a great... Well, well, we got another superstar. He's, uh, I guess, adding to the celebration, showing his appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. 
Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE Universe miserable. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. And the opponents first. Representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining Damage Control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude. But besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, now she has even more help in the form of damage control. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. From Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! Before dominating here in WWE, she was a decorated collegiate athlete. Yeah, but let's talk about some of that dominance here in WWE, Michael. Bianca Belair, a former Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time women's champion as well. It's starting to look like there truly aren't any limits that Bianca Belair can't reach. Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. And always ready to launch an assault. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are ready for this one. Though unlikely, we can only hope Chelsea keeps her mouth closed. Even her partner Piper Niven can't stand all of her yapping. It's a lot of talk, but this team comes together when you least expect them to, and they wreak havoc on their opposition. But man, are they easy to dislike, especially Chelsea. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Well scattered reversal there. Ooh, bad landing. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Big time power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Oh, tossed aside. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Tag is made. <laughs> tossed into the corner. Able to beat Chelsea to the punch. Choke slam backbreaker. <laughs> to the arm. She gets the tag. Driven down with an elevated flatliner. Goes into the pin. Two count. She kicks out with a 40 after two. No celebrations yet. She did her homework there. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Face first. She says, no thanks. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. Watch this Herculean power. Deadlift back suplex. 
Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. I uh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table yes. down there by the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Phew, that was close. She's pushed into the corner. What a counter by Chelsea. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. This going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Wrenching away on the arm there. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna sting. Tagged into action. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. She got her down. Is this it? She gets the shoulder up. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Continuing to work on the arm with a... She might be in some trouble now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold. Wow. What's good? A couple of knees and then another one, and that'll force the break. <laughs> Big punch finds its mark. Dakota Kai setting up her opponent. Bang! Detonation kick. Dakota can taste it now. Try and end it. And they're still in this. Placing them into the corner. Double super kick! My goodness. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Tag made! One. Oh, yeah. God, what an elbow! Jumping elbow drop. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. This may end it right here, right oh, now. Wow. Canadian Destroyer. She fights Piper back. Ah, and they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Shoulders down. Kicks out before one. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Was the only thing keeping her upright. Oh man! Last ah, snap there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. Tag. These two work so well together. Big hip toss and low kick. Fantastic teamwork. Care shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Wards off the pin at two. She just will not go away. Evades the attack. The EST hoisting her up. KOD. Shoulders down. Maybe not. The breakup. Bianca with a standing shooting star. Belair's got her in her sights. Belair hoisting up the opposition. This should do it. Kiss of death to KOD. Did Belair just close this out? Cover. No, my, that was close. Escaping that pin must have taken almost everything she's got. Well worth it. Look how frustrated her opponent is. Bianca has rarely been in this position. Time to see if she can stay focused and continue the pressure. You can just see how much winning this match means to these women. They are absolutely going above and beyond to put each other away. Some intimidation tactics from Piper Niven. Quick thinking from Piper. Up and it's an awkward driver. Does that finish Bianca off? Is it enough? The cover! Oh, she's still alive. Bianca proving why she's the toughest with that kick out. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Savage knee to the face. Belair really found herself in the wrong place there. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. She's tagged in. Oh, my God, the old face scrub. That's just disrespectful. This is going to take some power here. Look at this strength. Absolutely impressive. Yeah. 
Snap mare. Oh, and the rolling neck snap. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. Oh, straight forearm. Got it. What a tag match we just saw. Here are your winners. The team of Dakota Kai and Bianca Belair. The challenger unable to make it back in in time. The ref really had no choice. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, Karrion Cross. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. Here comes Ashante the Adonis. And he's not giving up the sign of the spotlight to anybody. And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Ashanti. A veteran of the United States Army, a college football standout. This Adonis is one tough dude. Yeah, definitely a man who is ready for combat.
Plenty of flashy moves in his arsenal. Yeah, Shanti's a guy who loves to flaunt his skills in the ring. Karrion Cross is certainly one dangerous individual. Cross claims his power is so great he controls the hands of time. The Harbinger of Doom lives in the shadows, Cole. Darkness is his ally. Cross patiently waits to unleash a wicked assault that makes your life hell. Darkness has enveloped WWE because of this man. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide from the sickening brutality of Karrion Cross. Well, we should really keep our eyes on Ashanti Adonis. He's certainly not lacking in confidence, but you can't let his personality distract from the fact that he's no slouch when it comes to his in-ring ability. Well, he's gonna have to prove that here, Saxton. What's the old saying? Don't talk about it, be about it. Ashanti could stand to keep that in mind tonight. So much torque on the knee and ankle. He's not gonna be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? yeah! Lift up! What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. They're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. What could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up in the barricade. In a big boot. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. longer with too many moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. If Karrion Cross wants to come away with a win, he needs to take a methodical approach. Focus on taking his opponent apart one piece at a time. If he rushed, that might be it. Stops the count before it too. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Into the hip toss. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Stop in the leg. This match grinded him down a little. The competitor in Adonis coming through here. Hooked up, suplex on the way. Oh, I'm not done yet. Carefully measured. Again? Another knee drop. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Roundhouse kick on the mark. Decapitator. Can he do it here? And he manages to kick out in one. I think this match still has a ways to go. Ashanti is feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Ooh, elbow strike. Setting it up. Boom. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, action needs to return to the ring and fast. And he gets delivered back into the ring. DDT plants them. He's struggling a bit here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Strength of that slam. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Arm ringer. Well, that changed. 
Mismatch about to fade to black. Cross jacket submission applied. Will this match end on a submission? Try not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. Shoots up before two. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Huge oh. Cover. Two. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross standing tall after tonight's victory. Tick-tock. Cross knew it was his time, and now the whole WWE Universe knows it, too. Here comes a high-flying phenom. This is going to be fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan. Nathan Fraser in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard hitting truths. I like this guy. The Almighty is here. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. The Almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. Kicking things off with Nathan Frazier, one of the rising stars of the British wrestling scene, looking to make his name here in WWE. 
I would argue he's already made his name, Cole. Being in WWE just allows him to get to that next level. He has talent, motivation, and innovation all on his side. Nathan Frazier truly has the world in front of him. Fair enough, Corey. Let's see if he can take that next step here tonight. You can tell by Lashley's demeanor that he can't wait to bash his opponent into oblivion. Expect this one to be ugly. Oh, he got him! Is he going to lock this in? Outright present. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Tossing them aside. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Oh, my! Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. Great reversal. Thunderous power slam. Is it enough? He thought he had it. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. Lashley possesses such a dangerous arsenal. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. And I think that blow might have bruised Lashley's pride a bit. Saving us from having to sit through that. Being carried around with ease. Planted face first. Uh-oh. Reversal on Lashley. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Arm control applied in him. And will this be it? Gets the shoulder up after one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. This is just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. And Frazier able to reverse that. Systematic attack on that arm. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Targeting the arm now. Standing moonsault gets all of it. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. He's going for it all. Look out! He paid for that one! Oh, man, big time. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. He may be in a bad way here. Lashley once again establishing himself as dominance personified there. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Yeah. Big time power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. He thinks he has it. He forces a break before the count of two. He's far from finished. Oh, he retaliates. A oh, bear hug. Oh, the bear hug. And a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Slip leg. Nicely done. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Able to reverse. Oh, strong impact. Steer clear of that. Scattered it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Flipping pile driver spiked. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying. To the midsection. Oh, oh.
And this one might be headed ringside. Earth-shaking power slam. The Almighty is focused on finishing this. Sitching in the hurt lock. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It might be the smart. Paul Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. So he gets the break. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. Incoming. Crash landing. Powerbomb. He moved, but can he capitalize? And that attack has to weaken Lashley even more. Yeah, Fraser wants to take this match into even deeper waters. Big stomp in the corner, creating a lot of separation. Attacks have staggered the Almighty. Lashley may not know what's going on right now. Top oh. rope, suplex. Sitching in the hurt lock. What a unique submission maneuver here. Look at the pain his opponent's in. How much punishment can he tolerate right now? And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Lashley caught by surprise. Boom, what a punch. These two trading one blow after another. Ooh. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Spear! Can that finish Nathan? Is it enough? Pure instinct and adrenaline right now. I doubt he's thrilled about the kick out, but you have to think Lashley is at least glad he gets to dish out a little more punishment. Cover. Oh, got the shoulder up just at the last minute. At two and a half, he kicked out. <laughs> Working the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. The entire WWE Universe is on their feet. An absolute barn burner. Frazier on top. Frog splash from Nathan Frazier. And Nathan Frazier capitalized with that move. A big reward for him there. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Yeah. <laughs> and he's taking this to the outside now. Lashley is really, Bobby is in real danger now. To the midsection. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power, oh no, into a chop block. Check out this power, hoist it up. They need to be aware of a count out right now. The Almighty just rearranged his opponent's organs with that one. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And he gets set back into the ring. Set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop. 
Up and over. The pendulum beginning to shift. Boom! This superstar is something else. We got a cover. Stopping the refs count at two. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Oh, set down. Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Slip play. Frazier may be thinking high risk. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord. That's it. Call the match. Is that going to decide it for Nathan? Oh, he was almost finished. Lastly, absolutely displaying the will to stay alive. What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. Elbow puts an end to that. Sitching in the hurt lock. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hole. There is no doubt surrender is imminent. Full Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. He's been placed in the corner now. Someone hold the roof down, because I think it's coming off the hinges. What an atmosphere. An insane amount of adrenaline must be coursing through these competitors' veins. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Blast off. Stops the attack with a power slam. Kick to the gut. Right to run into a neck breaker. the way Lashley thought things were going to go tonight. Yeah, Nathan Frazier was as impressive as ever, and it really paid off. Sami Zayn is here, and he is all fired up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! There is perhaps no superstar with more heart WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, 
but Sammy will always get back up. Sami Zayn's a world-class competitor, no doubt about it. He just needs to make sure to get out of his own way tonight. Stay out of his head. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. competitors in NXT history. A man who's ready to unleash fury on the entire WWE roster. We'll have to pull out all the stops against Sammy because he will definitely do the same. Guys, Sami Zayn has made the impossible possible throughout his career. Zayn fights with passion and knows how to defeat all types of opponents. Now, we don't need to list the trials and tribulations of Sami Zayn, but unless you've been stranded on a desert island, you know Sami's been through the ringer. Sami Zayn fights for what he believes in, regardless if he has zero supporters or the entire WWE Universe behind him. But tonight, seems like the latter. And he's got to deal with the pure will of competition in Ilya Dragunov. One of the fiercest competitors WWE has ever seen. I don't know how you manage an opponent who seems to have total disregard for his own well-being and thrives off of pain. Dragunov is as resilient as they come. Yeah. Oh, oh. Talk about devastation. He's one step ahead there. Big knee to the midsection. We all know that Sammy has the ability to take flight in the ring and land some explosive aerial attacks. How do you counter that? You've got to ground Sammy. Keep him off the top rope. Bring him into the middle of the ring and take him down to the mat or target his legs and nullify his ability to climb the ropes. Whichever strategy you choose, the bottom line is you cannot let Sammy get airborne. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, alley you power bomb! That might be it. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Oh, a suplex. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, big back fist connects. Hooked and driven down hard with a Uranagi. Whip back into the ring. Dragunov trying to hype himself up, trying to garner momentum. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Maybe that will shut him up. Oh, that's how you he can pin his opponent right here. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh, what a counter. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Here we go, your favorite call, Blue Thunder Bomb. Sammy might have just... This could be it, cover. No, shoulders up at two. Close call, that was almost lights out. This. The cover. And the kick out. The amount of 
damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. From the middle rope. Oh, man. He may get the three count right here. This is it. A celebration begins for this man enjoying the victory here tonight. And his opponent, obviously a sore loser. Well, Cole, I got a feeling this story is far, far from over. Sign me up for a rematch. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Guys, Shin is as expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style, and he's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring and looks damn cool doing it. You gotta shield yourself against relentless attacks. AJ does not have an off switch. The seemingly endless motor possessed by the phenomenal one. I got a feeling this match is gonna be too sweet. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war.
Shinsuke Nakamura lives by a code of honor, and he's taken it upon himself to strike down anyone who does anything less or stands in his way. That code of honor seems to revolve around psychologically and physically dismantling your opponent. Eccentric as he is, Nakamura definitely isn't playing around here. But he's dealing with an exceptional opponent in AJ Styles. AJ is as innovative as they come in terms of in-ring tactics and offense. He's just got a brain for this business. Yeah, there's no telling what Styles will pull out when he's in the ring. He's always ready to break new ground with bold maneuvers if he thinks it'll get him closer to the win. What are they doing here? You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Dragon screw. Are working to neutralize that arm. Just disrespectful. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. What a neck breaker. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. Delivered into the barricade. Side slam. Nice. Set him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. No. the ropes. Stomp right on the knee. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Something AJ Styles has to utilize if you... And into the count. There's two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles! I cannot say enough about the effort we saw from AJ Styles tonight. Styles became a different man right before our eyes. Perhaps Shinsuke was wrong in thinking AJ's emotions would be his downfall. The best in the world. Forget the night of Punk's historic return. But now, Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. 
Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. Punk's return was an amazing moment, but now he must capitalize. Yeah, easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high. Is being the best in the world still good enough? Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. McIntyre's has been a journey of redemption, of making up for lost time. Drew has taken titles and main events by force. One thing you have to respect about Drew McIntyre is his unshakable confidence. Every time he heads to the ring, he does so knowing he's got all the courage and strength he needs to win the match. It's an attitude that served him well and maybe the ticket to him grabbing another win here. Yeah, but across the ring from him is the iconoclastic CM Punk. Finally feeling like he's home and where he needs to be in his life. Yeah, Corey, he's been looking as confident as ever too. That's got to be a lot for any opponent to compete with. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm, getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Oh, you nasty shot to the throat. Hits him with the counter. Oh, what a kick. He moves just in time. He's taking this to the floor now. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, knee right to the spine. Power bomb dropped him. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Side slam. Nice. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Stomping down! And now gets tossed into the ring. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, what a touch the throat. Look at this matchup, Corey. Is there anything you think Punk needs to do to get to keep the advantage? Punk needs to make sure he controls the pace as often. Oh, look out. It's on now. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Oh! The fight is on, and it's furious. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Out. Oh, my. Can he do it here? A kick out, and you can 
see the frustration starting to build. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Up high, Johnny Cross body. Throwing all caution to the wind. From the top rope. Flying elbow drop. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Pump looking for GTS. Going to sleep. Drew is completely out of it. There's two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Where in the world did Drew McIntyre find the strength, find the heart to just power out like that? I don't know, but also I don't know how much longer he can go on. Punk took his best shot, gave him everything. Will Drew finish things now? Makes a cover. He kicks out somehow. You can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but he'll still keep getting up. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew's accustomed to putting out so many men with that maneuver. So you got the springboard. And misses on the springboard. Oh, kick connects. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, McIntyre putting as much power as he can behind his offense. Turned that one around. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, solid form. Not where you want to be right now. High risk here. I don't know what more we can see in this match. From the top. Just won't give up. Yeah. East River crossing. Big plans in mind from McIntyre. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Taking flight. Oh my gosh. That should do it right there. Tire gets the win. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. A defeated CM Punk here. Punk's going to hit the showers with this loss weighing heavy on him. But best believe, Punk will be coming back from this with a vengeance. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Make way for the head of the team. This is opponent representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the world heavyweight. Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried, dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns has made it clear that he doesn't just want his opponents in the WWE Universe to acknowledge him. He wants the whole world to. Which is why I acknowledged him with a text first thing this morning, Cole. That's just what you need to do to stay on the Tribal Chief's good side. Otherwise, as we'll surely see here, you're going to get stacked and smashed. You're either on the island of relevancy or you're in Reigns' way. I'll say this much for you, Corey. You are certainly a pragmatist. And across the ring from him is Cody Rhodes. Cody has really grown up before our eyes and experienced every high and low this business has to offer. Those tests have hardened him and perfected him as a competitor. What you see now isn't so much a grown man as it is a final form. Uh-oh. What a reversal by Reigns. Man, that hurt. Dodges out of the way. Any advice for Cody Rose as he takes on the very formidable Roman Reigns? Cody's going to have to use everything he knows. Every attack, every strategy. Against Roman Reigns, your one best shot just isn't good enough. But I think Cody knows that, and he came here tonight ready to give Roman all he's got. Shifts it back on to him. Just insulting. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Roman Reigns so dominant. The guillotine sinks in. This one could be over. The guillotine locked in. This is all. That was it. an incredible counter. The Reigns hits him. No coming back from Reigns after that. For the win. Two count. Oh, kick out. Kick out at 
two. The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. Roman has been denied. This is not something we're used to seeing, and by the looks of things, neither is Reigns. The American Nightmare. That's Crossroads. Can Reigns recover from that? Two. Oh, a shoulder up before three. The Tribal Chief digging down deep and fighting through it. You might not respect his methods, but you have to. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh -oh. Three. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Inside out. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Lights out. Oh my, merciless brain buster. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And Cody Rhodes reverses. Big form. Can you believe this? I love it. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Oh, knee drop. Woo! And the Tribal Chief really having to acknowledge the offense directed right at him at this point. This is where endurance becomes so important. And Cody looking to end this. Crossroads. Rhodes just turned. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh boy, a right hand for good measure. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Oh, stop right to the hand. Bam! By Reigns! Serious jeopardy for Rhodes. That's gotta be it. Two. He stays alive. He stays alive. The never-ending fight in Cody Rhodes. Absolutely undeniable right now. And Reigns absolutely can't That's believe it. But he cannot let that slow him down. A <laughs> celebration begins for this man enjoying the victory here tonight. And his opponent, obviously a sore loser. Oh, Cole, I got a feeling this story is far, far from over. Sign me up for a rematch. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. Yeah. 
The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 241 pounds. L.A. Knight! By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. Knight may not be the typical WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now. The Apex Predator is on the hunt. And his opponents, first, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. We talk a lot about who is the best but Orton has been in the conversation for a very, very long time. Uh, how about over two decades of dominance, Corey? Undeniably on the short list for the greatest of all time. There's a big change in the atmosphere. Hey, representing the new Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! A man who possesses freakish power and crazy athleticism. Make no mistake about it, this man truly rocks, and they don't call him big for nothing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, settle in, but do so on the edge of your seat because we've got triple threat rules tonight. First superstar to get a pinfall or submission will win. There are no disqualifications. There are no countouts. And the WWE Universe has their eyes glued on this one. What a boot. Hoist it up across the shoulders into the torture rack. Submission. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Counter! And now there's an opening. Put it in the corner now. Planted with a neck breaker. Oh, man. Driven down. He thinks he has it. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Oh, man, check out this power. And a reversal by LA Knight. Oh, I'm not going to win for 
a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because he breaks the holes. Oh, what a close lock. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match. The threats are everywhere, Cole. Two opponents, zero rules. And on top of that, you don't have to be the one pinned to still lose the match. You have to be ready for anything. Biggie on the receiving end. Uh-oh. Oh, right in there. Snap suplex. What a counter. And gets tossed back into the mat. Orton not intimidated. Not even close. If anything, he's the one doing the intimidating right now, Michael. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Orton gets the better there. Boom! Slam! With authority. Great strength being shown here. Lands face first. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, my God. Charlie. And he was ready for Orton. Good gravy, what a body block. Oh my God, look at this. They're setting him up. Double suplex. And here's a cover. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Playing possum, I love it. He gets an emphatic kick out. He is still very much in this. Military press. Ooh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Look at this. Just what a barrage of stomps. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stomp someone like that. And a reverse power slam. What a move. Superstar for themselves situation. An alliance like that can be key. There's some power behind that punch. Catches a punch. He's got the answer for that one. Quick thinking pays off. Rocked with the point of the elbow. He's starting to struggle here. Triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. He's got a kendo stick, a weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. L.A. Knight is showing his opponent takes a ride on the gravy train. Two count. Yeah. Uh-oh. Caught with that sharp elbow. He just barely dodges. Their offense with a swift elbow. Whoa. Crucial moment for Big E. Set him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh no. Oh no. Breaker. Big form. Uh oh. Knight denies the attack. Does he have him here? Got him. And LA Knight is your winner. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight! Tremendous victory in this triple threat match.
I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages.